The Titans and Ravens have met 24 times. They have bloodied the other's lip countless times in games that resulted in strange final scores, featured bizarre plays, and had wacky endings. Henry gets the carry running left. Henry to the 25, Henry to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the yes! Oh, yes! Two, yes! Three. Yes! Yes! Touchdown, Titans, as the Titans will run out of Baltimore with a shocker in OT. Shocker? What are we talking about? We expected that thing. Blitz Lounge is here. They're excited. Bring it on in, y'all. Welcome, everybody, to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith. This is the legend, Eddie George. Man. Yes. Oh, I, this is this is what we needed. It's pre-Thanksgiving, one of your favorite holidays. Y'all. My yes. It's your thing. My that's Turkeys in a brine right now. Yes, yeah, let gobble, go. gobble, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take them out tonight, inject them with my marinade. Right. I'm going to dip them tomorrow morning, deep fry. So, mm. really excited about it. Oh, uh. And we got Titans wins. What? Right, come on. We Titans cooked tomorrow night. Cooked up a raven oh. already. Oh, it's great. Um, how exciting was that win? I, this, I know they're not in our division, but I want, I want them to be because I love this it's, rivalry it's so much. All, Baltimore is always a rivalry, regardless of – where they are yeah. in, the, in, in the universe, we play them. It's always ugly, nasty football. Mm. I love playing against Baltimore, especially when we win. But I say it was pretty in the end. Uh, we will talk about this. We'll talk about everything that happened before and after the game, mm. too. That is coming up. Yes. Uh, but let's kick off our show and do what we do. Uh, Blitz Lounge is hanging out. We'll talk with those folks a little bit, play some games even. But uh, mm-hmm. right now, let's do Four Downs with Eddie, presented by Course and Fire and Security. And, you know, we're excited now, but uh, it wasn't that exciting at first because we were dropping balls. Oh, we were losing in the first half. Oh. Hanging in there. But the, the Titans stormed back in a very tight it, way. Just, that's what we've been doing all year long. Yeah. You know, falling behind and having mm-hmm. these miraculous comebacks. I, I would rather be, uh, be up ahead <laughs> in some of these games. Right. But, but certainly showed um, some great moxie on the road at the Raven Stadium. Both teams needed this win. Yeah. Got the best shot from, from Baltimore. And, man, Tandy Hill was, fin- was phenomenal. Uh, yeah, because his numbers weren't great in the first half. No, they you know, weren't. We were just it, hanging in there, but he he put together some great drives. Great drives. I mean, threw a pick earlier on, settled down be- beautifully. Great calls by Arthur Smith by allowing him to do this. Mm-hmm. You know, run option pass, taking it around the bootleg, making things happen, getting back in rhythm, finding his receivers. And my gosh, I mean, these guys were really sticking together throughout this entire game. Because that's a game where you fall behind and you're just like, hey, we just don't got it this week or today. Yeah. And there's always next week. But these guys are resilient. They never yeah. quit. Tannehill puts up a couple of games where he gets, you know, buck 30, buck 50, not much. Puts up 259. Uh, in this particular game, and w- whether it was uh, whether it was Derrick Henry or Tannehill, yep. yeah, our guys need to get hit in the mouth a little bit. Is that, is that just a uh, football thing? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We, get we get punched in the mouth, it wakes you up like, oh okay, now now it's time to play. Yeah. Now now we got to play some ball, yeah. and it's nothing like getting hit in the mouth by a, a rival, oh, just right. like Baltimore, mm-hmm. you know, and they go back to the back to the scene of the crime where it happened last season. Boom. And and pulled off a victory again. Uh, this guy got crowned again. Uh, moving on to second. Down, Derrick Henry, uh, he took over. He, d- he did what he did. Uh, 28 carries, 133 yards, and a touchdown. But uh, into the third quarter, he didn't have near that. No, this he was didn't. a lot of fourth quarter and overtime. He right was he, he turned it on when he had to um, late in the game when he when they needed him the most. Uh, only 44 carries through three quarters prior to that. The offensive line got to give it up for the offensive line. They were banged up, beat up. Yes. Don't have a lot of the guys in this. They open up the holes for the big fella to come through. And we see here, you know, he's doing what he does well. Uh, finishing off runs. Made a beautiful jump cut at the end of the game. The overtime, that the jump overtime. cut that, that sealed the deal. Yeah, that, here it is right here. And that's something that, you know, that he added to his repertoire. I mean, why, why is the change of direction right here? Right here. Here, the, how Boom. beautiful is that? I mean, a guy that's 6'4", 250 pounds, that can run like a deer, do jump cuts like that, elusive in the open field, and finish games. I mean, LeBron James tweeted yeah. the finisher. I saw that. Yeah, how, I saw how, now, that. That's when you arrive, when the king, 
recognizes another king. You know what? Cool. I think he. I remember he tweeted a couple years ago when he had his 99 yard yeah, run. He was yeah. watching that big, big fanny. King and king, right? King and king, absolutely. Yeah. You know he, that that uh, that cutback that is all game long. He's setting that up. He's setting oh, that up, yeah. moving the defense, moving the defense. Cuts it back, finishes the game. It was beautiful to see. Yep. Moving on to third down, though, you already mentioned it. Guys needing to step up. You know, uh, John Robinson's been busy with yes, this he has. practice squad, off the practice squad, setting guys in and out. Of course, we've had to deal with tons of, of injuries. Um, uh, everybody's stepping up. But before we get to the guys filling in the line, first of all, A.J. Brown. Oh, God. A.J. Brown with Alpha. this. I mean, look at this right here. Alpha dog. Should have been tackled. He is alpha man. Should have been tackled. Should have been tackled. Look was not that. going to get tackled. And I mean, that was a third down, third and ten. This is game on the line type stuff. And goes in standing up. Yes. The end zone standing up. And that's something. I mean, this guy is resilient. He's tough. I mean, runs hard, doesn't give up on the play. He is an alpha male out there, true leader of this team emerging as one of the great receivers in the game. Yeah. So much upside for this young man. I mean, he that's who you want to go to war with right there. When you yeah. see your receiver doing that, yeah. you have you no know, choice with the He's that. not that tall. He's 5'11", but he plays much, much bigger. Oh, he's all dog. He's yeah. all heart. He I is. mean, that's all heart and will. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Corey Davis, yes. 113 yards. He had a big day on, on five receptions. A mm. lot of clutch grabs. I mean, and that's what you you want out of a guy like that. So hats off to Corey Davis, who's having a, you know a really great season uh, on the field. Look at that, uh, a big place when you need it. Uh, and I I got to give hats off to Aaron Brewer, undrafted mm -hmm. uh, rookie, rookie starting yep. at left, left guard in for Saffold does a heck of a job. Um, I mean, the, the guys are stepping up. And one play in particular, though, towards the uh, end of the game, Ravens driving, Desmond King. It was, it was a second down play. I think this is it right here. This is a for sure touchdown. And look at that Huge. technique. Rides, it, rides him just close to him and sticks that left hand out. Yep. No pass interference. Incomplete pass. They end up having to kick a field goal. But this is a for sure touchdown. This is a for sure touchdown. And had they scored, it, the fate oh. of this game would have been completely different. Yeah. But when you, I mean, he makes an immediate impact, jumping off a plane, mm -hmm. has a, a, yeah. a, a fumble touchdown a couple weeks ago. Right. Doing plays like this, I mean, he's he's just been phenomenal. So guys are stepping up yes. at the right time. They most certainly are. Yeah. All right. Moving on to fourth down, real quick. Just uh, some news and notes, really. You know, because it's. We've had to take a lot of notes following this team Absolutely. this season with guys, you know, getting injured and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Humphreys practice today. That's mm -hmm. uh, it's worth note. It's plus. Tragically, though, during this game, we, we lost Jayon Brown on IR. It was an yeah. awful injury, terrible penalty. Uh, and Ty Sabrilo, uh at left tackle. So now it's right. another next man up kind of situation. But they've shown, and the coaching staff has shown, and the front office has shown, mm -hmm. We can do this. Yeah, they, they, they can do it. I mean, they've been doing it all season. you got to figure, too, you're never going to go – no one in the NFL is going to go through a season unscathed and, yeah. and totally healthy. So, you're primed, you're ready for this, and nobody does this better than Mike Vrabel yeah. and John Robinson and getting the right guys, plug and play, believing in the culture, believing in the system, believing in the process. And these guys continue to do it week in and week out. Very impressed by what I've seen on this field so far. Absolutely. Can't tell you uh, what's going to happen on Sunday because I'm a fan like you, and I find out <laughs> when you do. But Brett Kern practiced today, so ah, that's a thing. That's huge. That's huge. All right. You know, uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our guy, Fast 15 Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. <laughs> Deep throw downfield going for Duvernay. Intercepted. Intercepted by Hooker at the 10. Jackson to throw it. Under pressure. Sack! Brown makes the catch at the 10. Spinning. Driving his way to the 5. Oh, oh. Into the end zone. Oh, wow. How did he do it? Wow. Touchdown, Titans. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah. It's been a tough year, but Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. Yeah, 
uh, just hanging around. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. It's halftime here on the show. And don't forget, if you haven't bought them already, make sure you get your raffle tickets. I think we've got the total up here. Yeah, the Titans raffles presented by BetMGM, the current jackpot, 16370 You could win up to $100,000 every time you buy a ticket. That number goes up. So head to TennesseeTitans.com slash raffle. 16370 Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're going to take a little break from football okay. action, and we're going to welcome in some guests to the show and play a little game. I think we've got the Cole family here. Hello, Ooh, Cole family. Let's go. Go Titans. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and to you. I like that. Oh, I like the yeah, I like those. Did you get those blue. at the game the other night? We did. Yes. We did. Very nice. I think we only gave away one, so you've stolen it, and that's why we've got you here. The authorities are on their way. I'm kidding. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to play a little Titans Challenge with the Cole family. We're going to give you a particular category, and you'll have 20 seconds to name as many things in that category as you mm. can, and you're going up against one of our current Titans players, and you should be able to do this with four of you there. You ready? Ready. We're ready. Okay, here's the deal. It's Thanksgiving. Your category is Thanksgiving food. Oh. Name as much as you can. Go! Broccoli casserole, Ham, turkey, turkey, dressing, corn, green rolls, beans, rolls, rolls cornbread, pecan pie, green pumpkin bean casserole, pie, casserole, cake, bread, cranberry sweet sauce, sweet potato casserole, Damn. cream corn, whole corn, corn on the cob. <laughs> Keep going, I know you're hungry. Green beans. Green beans. Uh, <laughs> green beans. <laughs> What about, right. what about stuffing? Okay, ding, ding, ding. That's stuffing. time. We'll give you four. Our judges were all over that. They were listening. I think I think uh, one I think of you just said bread. But yeah. <laughs> that's rolls? That's Did good. you say Hawaiian rolls or just rolls? Both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hedging their bets. All right, you got 14. We'll give you 14 on that one. You are going up against... Rashawn Evans, and he uh -oh. likes some Thanksgiving. So let's roll the tape and see how you did. Take it away, Rashawn. Okay, peach cobbler, corn, ham, uh, uh, turkey, collard greens, fried chicken, uh, uh, cranberry sauce. Uh, what else? You got cornbread. You got... Uh, Sweet potato pie, pecan pie. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie's, Eddie's screaming at Rashawn through that whole thing. Cream that is sauce. the Titans Challenge presented by the Tennessee and Cole family. We are going to send you a signed mini helmet to uh, decorate your house there for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. All right, everybody stick around. We got to talk hungry. some football. You hungry now, God, aren't you? God, that made me hungry. He was naming every I'm item hungry. he's eating this weekend. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. We're talking about this Colts game coming up. God. Don't go far. Let me get you a plate. Oh, I would love a plate. Happy Thanksgiving to all our fans. We appreciate you. Titans fans, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in their family, coming from my family to yours. Happy Thanksgiving. Those excited people right there. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. It is the two-minute warning here on the show. That means we are going to talk about this mm. game coming up Sunday in Indy. Uh, oof, man, I want this bad. Uh, I, who does? I mean, <laughs> I want it bad. I yeah, mean, it, it's good. revenge. It, revenge, it's a uh, big-time rivalry game. It's a huge game for the Titans in terms of uh, playoff hopes. Yeah. For the division, everything is on the line for this one. Attack it like a playoff game. You have to. Have it to. is a playoff yeah. game. Yeah, both 7-3. and three. They've got a game on us. Uh, so let's talk about the keys to victory. Um, look, the Colts D, you got to wear them down. I, a lot like this Ravens game. Listen, yes, no? we owned – Derrick Henry still had 100 yards on yeah. his defense yeah. despite of all what happened. We beat ourselves last time. We owned the ground game. Derrick Henry was running on them. I think we need to continue that formula. Tandy Hill needs to be efficient on third down, make great plays. But it's got to be, you know, with the special teams. We've got to have best, better special teams play, better coverage, better kicks. I mean, everything has to be intact for this to happen. I, and it's going to be a mental game for I us I did well. feel like in watching this game and then watching it back again, our first game against the Colts, uh, there were opportunities to just keep it on the ground and – 
we we didn't do that. You know, the option was to, to finesse. I don't know, but I feel like because they they punched us in the mouth, and I feel they like did. they deserve uh, the same from us. Yeah, and I think when you go back and look at the game plan, we had our opportunities to win this ball game. Yeah, um, but clearly, you know, with uh, the the punt, the muff punt, right? Um, the special teams play the miss the missed field goal, the missed opportunities. Yeah, the defense played well, had a great goal line stance. We didn't capitalize on that, so there were a lot of opportunities that we we missed. It wasn't so much that the Colts. Um, beat the Titans last game. Right. It was more or less the Titans making mistakes. So we correct those mistakes, make it a fair fight. Yeah, I, I like our chances to win that game. The final score says <laughs> says otherwise. But I mean, we yeah. watched the game. You saw what happened. It was all uh, in the second half where it mm-hmm. fell apart. The second key here, really, we've already sort of touched on this. Own the time of possession. Uh, we certainly didn't do it in that game. We didn't do. We haven't owned the time of possession until recently. Oh. This last game, we finally owned the time of possession by two minutes. But we were getting. Blown out all year, but yeah. you're seven and three. So all you yeah. have to do now is control. It's the, it's the tide's going to turn to where the Titans can own time of possession and really play their game. And I think this is the week to do that. You preach that a lot. You preach, uh, you know, wearing them down, but th- not just in a game, but in a season. This yes. this November, late November, December stuff. You talk about it. We see it every year with Derrick Henry now, especially teams that are really well developed, like ours, mm-hmm. can wear teams down from beginning to end. So I. I'd like to see his own time yes. position, really, yes. truly. And uh, the third key, final key here, and again, you've already mentioned it, special, special teams. teams. Special teams have special to teams. Special be teams. special. Special teams, special teams has to be perfect this week, period. Can you punt? I know. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Hey, speaking of which, and, you know, we, Gostowski uh, was great for us this last yeah. game, so... Thank you, Stephen Kostowski, for yep. your greatness there. All right, so that's it. We figured it out. We've already won the game. No need to even play it. Why? Uh, we got more uh, t- Titans talk on the other side. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. I got a question for you about how yes. this game started. Perfect. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you for giving thanks. And thank you for making me look better the next day after you eat too much. Hey, everybody. I uh, want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, enjoy all that turkey today. The Cats like the get George. in on the game. Eddie. Welcome, Welcome back Andre. to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie, 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 back with you. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, real quick, don't forget uh, this Sunday if you're at home to check out the second screen experience in the Titans app powered by Bud Light. It's very cool if you haven't done it yet. You know, set up uh, an iPad, your phone, something like that uh, and while you're watching uh, the game and you get the full uh, stadium experience. There's uh, stats, fun clips, trivia, polls. It's, it's crazy. It's a, lot oh, of, it's a lot of fun. Yep. All right. Overtime here on the show. With that, uh, Mr. Eddie George, I want to ask you, mm-hmm. beginning of this game mm-hmm. against the Ravens. I know where you go. Saw our Titans take the field, mm-hmm. middle field, something they do a lot, stomping on the logo. Right here, oh, look, we happen to have video footage proof. Oh, and down there at the bottom screen, that is one John Harbaugh, head coach of that, their Baltimore Ravens team. And, uh, well, these are, these are words between grown men. Hey, that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. I mean, listen, listen. You know. Oh, and there's variable. This, this, is, this, is this is what adds the extra layer yeah. on the game. You already hate each other. And now you're stopping on their logo. They don't like it. Right. That's how we played back in the day. Listen, we played in there in 2004. We went on the field during pregame warm-ups when Ray Lewis is coming out for his whole show and dance. They started kicking the ball into our huddle. Right. And that just added to, to more fire fuel to the fire. So I don't mind it. I like it. Right. I was an all out brawl for a con seat. That adds that, it adds some more intensity to the to the whole It the does, whole doesn't deal. it? And Absolutely. I miss that. There's not a lot of that, you know, so around. So much nice guys like, oh how are you? Great so, game. Yeah. Good, great hit. Yeah. Good job. Good hit. Right, right, right. No, get out of here. Jersey. I want I want more of that and we got to see it. The the back and forth was basically Harbaugh saying it. it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to which Vrabel replied, go, go And to be clear, game. Mike would have took uh, mm-hmm. Harbaugh's head off. My, my yeah, I would put money on Mike, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but he just said, go coach the game, go coach the game. But it got the players going. That's what I was going to ask you. It does. It, it fires you oh, up. Oh, it definitely fires you up. I love it. I think that added more um, for the Titans to go out there, more incentive to go out there and beat Baltimore the way they did. But you got to be able to back it up, which obviously we can. 
You know, you can't ball. be a one and some odd team. Anyway, exactly. it was great. I loved it. I want some more of it. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody yes. out there. We've got a lot to be thankful for, folks. Uh, it's been a rough year, but count your blessings. Amen. Good to see you, my man. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Let's get this win, y'all. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Tighten up.